I'm just sitting here in a uh, Space Mountain vehicle with Richard Kraft. Mr. Cheesy Pop! Film, Broadway, composer, agent, who also happens to collect a lot of stuff, including everything that you see here today. But not any longer, it's going away. That's right. We're throwing a going away party. Huge going away party. It is like the <laughs> ultimate bon voyage. <laughs> Downstairs is 20,000 square feet of mm -hmm. Disney collectibles from my collection, like 750 pieces. Where did you have all of them? I mean, we're in a we're in a giant sports authority, so that, that's a very large, sp where yes. was all of this? Well, it was in my office, it was in my house, and way too many storage units. Okay. Okay. Yes, and the storage units are just arbitrary. So like on one side of me is like a crystal meth lab and the other side is like an oxygen supply company. So we had to get, we had and then it, smack in the middle is a Mr. Toad car. Yes, we like the Toad cars better Much than the better. Other things. Oh, <laughs> substantially better. Except for the Mr. Toad car gets hit by a train like all day long. It does. And then goes to hell. Uh, it's my, one of my favorite rides ever, actually. But what is the transition? You've gone to hell. You've gone to hell. And then you're in fantasy land. Yeah. It, that's okay. I think, I, I personally, I need a little buffer between the two. <laughs> what would you have put there? Redemption. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, Mr. Toad was never redeemed. He wasn't. It's true. But oh, poor um, Toad. we're sitting in an area. See all the attraction posters behind you? They're yes. all from Tomorrowland. We are, so yes, and each, each, uh, each part of this entire space is done by land, which is really cool. So we are in Tomorrowland, we're sitting yes, in the Space are. Mountain car. I'm wearing a Tomorrowland shirt. And I'm wearing, is, do you recognize what this is? Oh, wow. It's an yes. employee shirt. This is from, wow. It is from the 1970s. It is a parking lot tram operator. <laughs> yes, even that, they got a festive shirt. These are way cooler than the parking cast member shirts now. Yes. It, These are way cooler. It's one of the few relics of the 70s that looks better now. Yeah, this is awesome. It, there's nothing but, and it is my official, I, yeah. I finally became a member of Club 33, and I never <laughs> go unless I wear this shirt. It is my good luck Club 33 shirt. I'm really sitting next to royalty, guys. <laughs> this is an unbelievable Club 33 member, and he owns all this stuff. Did own it. Did own it. Yeah, it's all in the past tense, but Jeez. let's talk about Tomorrowland. Because okay. I have a lot of feelings about this. Okay. I, I, you see, to me, it was a pack of lies. Pa a pack of lies. When I went, there were flying saucers were going to be the future. No. There was going to be, there was a guy with a jet pack. Do you ever seen mm, footage of the guy I with have. the jet We are not flying we by jet pack. We did not get that. We didn't even get monorails or people movers. We got nothing. We, did he ever have the internet in Tomorrowland? No, they did mm. not, no. They kind of missed that. <laughs> and then in Tomorrowland, they have Star Tours, mm -hmm. which takes place in a galaxy far, far yeah. away in the past. In the past. So I'm so confused. Is there anything that, that did come true then? Yes, they still, in the future, they predicted people would be buying hot dogs and Cokes. So that part, Absolutely. Do they predict true. the churros? The, no, no, and certainly no one saw flavored churros. No. By the I'm, way, yeah. what happened one day for decades, mm -hmm. nobody cared about Dole Whip. It uh -huh. was like a creaky thing that I thought was going to go out of business, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did it suddenly become lines? We, we, uh, you know, I think, um, we, well, you know, we made it cool. Did. Are you really taking cool. personal I'm gonna take some credit for Yay. <laughs> I'm gonna take some credit for Dole Whip and the and the churros. I I, I am. I'm gonna just take some credit. Okay, but here's my issue with the churros. <laughs> It'd be one thing if they were good, but these are frozen churros. No. They are good. They are There's not some good. of them that are actually really good. Have you tried the cocoa churro? Uh, uh, to me, I'm a purist. All right. And purely hate the frozen churro aspect. The cocoa churro is good. It's, it's really good. Chocolate, you dip it in. When you're a Bengal you dip, tiger, what do you get? What? Are you a skewer guy? Oh, at Bengal barbecue. Oh, oh is that called Bengal, Bengal tiger? You call it Bengal oh my tiger. God, I'm a loser. Uh, yeah. I don't deserve this collection. <laughs> no, that's why you're giving it away. Yeah, I, it was, I didn't pass the Bengal barbecue quiz. Okay, I'm Mr. Disneyland pop guy. I'm gonna ask you two questions. You tell me something. Oh my gosh. Where is the massage parlor at Disneyland? Mm -hmm. There is a massage parlor, and it's next to a Chinese restaurant. Where are you? Whoa. 
Yeah. What? Over by Carnation, uh, the Carnation on Main Street. Okay. You know the restrooms you walk down towards? Yes. Look up right before you get to the restrooms. In the window, massage parlor and a Chinese restaurant. What? Yeah. I could use this when I'm walking all over Disneyland all yes. day. I did 20,000 steps. I was there yesterday. I was, I'm in pain Oh, today. is that your fitness program? <laughs> it is. It seriously is. <laughs> okay, I go wait, to Disneyland, wait, 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 I exercise. When you go to Disneyland, do you consider going to DCA the same as going to Disneyland? It's the Disneyland Resort. I know. I'm not talking about marketing. <laughs> I'm talking about you as a human. <laughs> It, it, it's it's part of it. I it's part of the overarching thing. It's Disneyland adjacent. Yeah, I mean, fine, but it, it's still... I'm at the Disneyland Resort. Well, and do you consider downtown Disney part of your experience? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Technicalities. The technicalities. <laughs> so, which sounds like a weird, discarded Sherman Brothers song. Te technicalities. Technicalities. Oh, that's Te good. Technical anyway. I love it. Guys, the best. Okay, this so is the so we're Tomorrowland. What are your favorite Tomorrowland memories? Well, Space Mountain is actually my favorite ride, in, really? in the Wait, entire. What, what do you think of the variants? Hyperspace Mountain. Um, they're cool, but I like the original the best. Why do you like the it so music much? Music and the uh, it's. Well, just, well, well the, when you say the music, are the, you talking about the uh, Disneyland Dale surf guitar Disney... version or the Michael Giacchino underscore? The, the Disneyland, the, cur the current, the version you go right. Yes. Yeah. That one. Yeah. But what, did you like it when it had the surf guitar music? Cool, but I like this is my favorite. I like okay. this the best. I've never met someone whose favorite ride is the one we're sitting the in right now. The one we're sitting in. Whoa. 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 Now, I got to write it with my friend, Robin Lopez, who is the center for the Chicago Bulls. And he's Whoa. seven feet something. How did... He knew which seat <gasps> he needed to sit in I didn't and even how think to could... fold his body. He was <gasps> like origami. I didn't even think you could do that. Like, I, 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 yes. I, I thought they would be like, nah, -uh, you cannot. Oh, they it. look at him, but he knows... I think he removes his hip or something. There's some oh, dislocation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. Um, sure. Should we move over to another land? We, we, we could do whatever. Yes. Let's go to the Haunted Mansion. Okay. <laughs>